Hello, my name is Ran Al-Amoudi. I'm here as a student for the in-house of traditional arts for the one-year program. I would like to share with you the basic process of how we ended up to this pattern. It's originally from an old building. It's only a small pattern. Imagine how did they do it from basic tools, to a whole wall. So we're just we'll be explaining a small pattern and I hope you enjoy the process. Uh, this is the geometry behind the shape. Uh, it's four folds. It's basically doing a large square and then when we do the small square, when you connect the large square with the smaller square, you get these pyramids. And when you connect it to the smaller square, you get the smaller pyramids. And then we add the, the nabati. The nabati is only basically drawing a quarter and then repeat it. And then it will, the shape will come uh, with you. It's like petals. Uh, as we can see in here, that's how it will end like. And this is the pyramid that we've, we've seen in here. Uh, and when it looks, it looks much better with the 3D. The beauty of crafting and using your hand that it always, it, it's never the same piece. It's like fingerprints. As you saw, this is my piece, that one that I have explained previously. And this is, uh, this is uh, from my classmates. It's the same grid, the same shape, the same gypsum material, but it ended up differently. That's the beauty of it. Okay, after we've drawn it, now comes the tracing part. So we will be, there's a more than a way to trace it, but we will be using transparent paper. So um, it's easier that way to make it more accurate, but imagine they used to do it only by hand. They only drew, they only drew the basic shape, square or whatever, and then they do it. But unfortunately, I don't have that enough experience, so we will be tracing it. Now that we've done with the geometrical, we will leave the nabati for later. We will carve it uh, after we make the depth appropriate. The gypsum is very sensitive, so we use this type of chisel. It's, uh, it's edged, it's sharp from both sides, and it's very thin. So first thing we're going to do is top cut. We use the tip of the chisel or a knife or whatever we can use. Now that we got our stop line, we'll start sh sh carving the depth first. So for example, uh, we want this side at uh, this center to be uh, at the bottom a little bit. So we will use the stop cut like this. It makes the gypsum stop like this. That's why it's called stop cut. It will not break the uh, shape. Now we start going in from the edges to the center. That's by only just push pressing like this and it will break down. We'll start with the larger one. We want the, sh we want the shape of the pyramid. So we will hold the chisel sideways and you will start with the small points ending with the larger side. You can see that the edges are not sharp. So now we'll use a small chisel to cut them in a clean way. So basically, as you can see, it's still sharp, so let me make it smooth because it's the plant, it's not like the geometry in here. This is more rounded and this is more sharp. It gives it a beautiful balance. And uh, then you can go as deep as you want to fix the depth, or you can uh, sand it. Or I, my person, I personally don't prefer to sand it, I prefer to end it with the chisel because it gives a solid cut, uh, solid finishing. But the sanding the plants maybe will be a good idea to make it more curvy. So <laughs> here's my previous one to get the point. 
as you can see, although I am the same person who've done both, but it's still different because you get more experience. Uh, that's the beauty of carving. You, even you yourself, you cannot do the same piece twice. It's not like mold, it's handmade. So uh, as you can see, this is the pyramid, and that's the nabati, the curved sides, as we said. And we've done a little bit of the edge in here. And imagine, they used to do all this in five minutes. It took me all day. <laughs> so thank you very much.